Maya Forstater was a researcher who lost her job at a charity over her tweets regarding trans people. The tweets in question were only offensive to those who want to ignore reality in favor of delusion. After all, men cannot turn into women is not a hateful statement. Still, the tweet resulted in her contract not being renewed and led to a tribunal which at first led to a ruling against her where the judge noted, I conclude from the totality of the evidence that Forstater is absolutist in her view of sex and it is a core component of her belief that she will refer to a person by the sex she considered appropriate even if it violates their dignity and or creates an intimidating, hostile, degrading, humiliating, or offensive environment. The approach is not worthy of respect in a democratic society. However, after an appeal in 2022, two of the three panel members said it did not amount to an objectionable or inappropriate manifestation of Ms. Forstater's belief, given the context of a debate on the matter of public interest. The fact that Pips Bunce put himself forward in public as a person who is gender fluid and who dresses sometimes as a woman and sometimes as a man, and gender critical beliefs, though I am loath to call them beliefs when they are truthfully facts, became protected. A lot of things are being imposed. This is not a fair exchange. This is, you will call me this, you will do this, you will behave in this way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are comparing it to the gay rights struggle of uh, uh, the 80s and the 70s. But this is nonsense. The gay rights struggle did not impinge or try and move in on anyone else's set of rights. This is happening now in sports, in changing areas, in communal areas. Uh, in every aspect of a woman's life, you only have to go online and, and see what people are saying. Mm-hmm. It's actually nothing to do with the transsexual. What they're saying is safeguarding, which is why we had separation of men and women in the first place. Mm-hmm. Safeguarding for children, for that, and, and that's not to say, you know, that people are saying transsexuals are a danger. They're a predator. No one is saying that. Mm-hmm. But of course, they're saying we're saying it. We're not. We're saying there has to be safeguarding. There are women who have been raped out there, mm-hmm. have been domestically abused. And the sight or sound of a, a, a male thing, they, you know, they do not need, culturally speaking, Jewish and Muslim women need separate spaces. Mm-hmm. That they, this is impinging in a lot of ways on a lot of people. And I think there's a sharp divide. Mm-hmm. And, and, and this is what women uh, like Maya Forstetter, Julie Bindel, Alison Bailey, uh, um, mm-hmm. Kathleen Stock, all these people are saying, look, we spent years mm. getting here, mm. years, yeah. with a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And you're now coming in, not even asking, not even having in a decent way, saying, let's have a conversation about yeah. this. But this onslaught of hate and thing. No wonder women are turning around and saying, do you, do you want to know something? I don't want to share my changing room with you. This is also the case wherein JKR first began to openly oppose gender ideology and stand up for women's rights. Her tweets in support of Maya Forstater were hardly bigoted, but her words, I tweeted, dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who'll have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. Hashtag, I stand with Maya. Hashtag, this is not a drill. Were the impetus that piqued not only rolling herself, but women around the world. The unprecedented pushback against rolling led her to become an even more avid campaigner of women's rights, as her wealth left her untouchable from many of the repercussions other women faced for standing up, like losing their jobs or facing physical violence. Many of her tweets receive unnecessary hostility, considering that no one who objects to her can actually point out what she said that calls for trans genocide or violence, though many of her detractors are obviously violent towards her with no recourse from the group that claims words to be actual violence. So these guys want to talk about J.K. Rowling? Is, is that, so what's going on with that? What do you want to know? Uh, she's, she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? And, like, do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? So let's get specific though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what way to think. The whole point is to learn how to think, not what to think. Yeah. yeah. So when you say bigot, you, you're you're starting with the conclusion that, given her bigoted opinions. Yeah. So first, her, uh, let's start with 
does she have bigoted opinions? So when you when you say bigoted opinions, she has had a history of being extremely transphobic. I've heard. So, you've heard. So what? Can you give me an example? Uh, if you look at her Twitter, I think um, you could see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find. Yeah, see something. if you can find. See if you can find one. So, one of these tweets that she came up with in 2019, she said. Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you um, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that, for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about it was, in there? It was deemed transphobic. Like, I myself... Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. So let's pause it. Let's not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. So that statement, do you see anything problematic disregarding other people's opinions? Um, she did try and pin some things on... A, spe a specific group of per of people. I where does she where does she do that? Do that? Can you read that? But force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. So when I hear that, I'm interpreting that as meaning, if a woman says that you know, saying that there is a difference between men and female, and then being attacked as transphobic, I think that's what she's saying by attacking someone for stating that sex is real. That is exactly what she's saying. Is that I, transphobic to you? So, to me, no. Stating that sex is real is not transphobic. It's just a fact of life. It exists. So is there anything you disagree with in that tweet? Uh, in that tweet, I can't really see anything that I myself disagree with, but I can see why some people would think, oh, this is offensive. We can't have that here or something. Cause sure. Uh, there's an apology tweet. What is um, she, let's read that. What did she say there? I haven't read that. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it is hateful to say so. Um, you see anything problematic there? She's apologizing, so no, not really. Um, if I if I could read it again, it sounds like a, the same, a very similar statement as what she was just saying. She's basically saying like, I have nothing to me. This is what I interpret it as. I have nothing against someone being trans. Exactly. In your life, but you just don't get to impose on my. You can live how you want. I can live how I want. Yeah. And let's all you know. Exactly. So I guess now, so now that we're looking at it like, oh, there's not much difference between me or her. Do you, how, why do you, do you think it's fair that there's a, that she's being attacked by a large group of people and people are calling her? Like you said at the beginning of this conversation, you said, given the fact that J.K. Rowling is transphobic, how do you feel about Harry Potter? Now, yeah. retroactively looking at that statement, do you think that that was the best way to phrase? No, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> It's okay though, but this is why we do this to learn to yeah. learn how to think. Recently, India Willoughby has been enraged by JKR's tweets. It began on March 3rd, 2024, when she tweeted, When men, all men, however they identify, are banned from women's spaces, those who disregard the ban can be challenged inside the space and out. To which a Twitter user responded with a video of India Willoughby and asked, Hi Joanne, so are you saying this lady should use the men's locker room then? Rowling responded, You sent me the wrong video. There isn't a lady in this one, just a man reveling in his misogynistic performance of what he thinks woman means. Narcissistic, shallow, and exhibitionist. The user replied, If India Willoughby is a misogynist, why does she become a woman? Think. Rowling retorted, India didn't become a woman. India is cosplaying a misogynistic male fantasy of what a woman is. At this point, Willoughby jumped in, offended at being called out for his behavior. Genuinely disgusted by this, grotesque transphobia, which is upsetting. I am every bit as much a woman as J.K. Rowling, recognized in law and by everyone I interact with every day. 
the debate about whether J.K. Rowling is a transphobe is over. In a separate tweet, Rowling added, Accurately sexing transidentified men who send misogynistic abuse to women is not discrimination. Man is not a slur. I know a lot of you think the UN should intervene whenever women bruise your egos, but there is no human right to universal validation. Willoughby took the row a step further by later tweeting, If I ever get murdered, you know who to blame. Hashtag stochastic terrorism. Stochastic terrorism refers to when popular figures publicly demonize a person or group in such a way that inspires their supporters to commit a violent act against the target of the speech. Hmm, familiar much? This attitude is nothing new. Critics of trans ideology are often accused of inciting genocide merely for asking questions. Any hesitancy is construed as a desire to create violence. However, while most accusations of this sort remain an online issue, India attempted to report Rowling to the police for her tweet. You might think that such an action would be laughed right out of the door. After all, no white supremacist is getting arrested for his online racism. No incel is being arrested for his words against women. And of course, any woman who reported misogynistic language to the police would never be taken seriously. Unfortunately, several women have been arrested for the crime of misgendering, or as I like to call it, accurately denoting a person's sex. For the crime of being mean online, many women are terrorized under the guise of preventing hate speech, because he is apparently a slur now. J.K. Rowling has definitely committed a crime. I'm legally a woman, she knows I'm a woman, and she calls me a man. It's a protected characteristic, and that is a breach of both the Equalities Act and the Gender Recognition Act. Um, she's tweeted that out to 14 million followers. Um, if you check out the accounts that have been responding to me on the back of that, her trigger, um, it's absolutely disgusting, putrid, some of the worst abuse I've ever seen on social media. And I know I'm at the centre of it, and I might be a little bit biased. Well, what are you going to do calling. about this? What am I going to do about it? Um, well, I've been to the police and right. I've reported it as an issue. I contacted uh, Northumbria Constabulary yesterday. Um, so you reported J.K. Rowling. I have reported to the J.K. Rowling to the police for what she said, which I don't know that if that's going to be treated as a hate crime, malicious communications, but it's a cut and dried offence as far as I'm concerned. And at the end of the day, it is a hate crime. Trans gender identity is a protected characteristic just as race is, just as sexuality um, is. And the equivalent of what J.K. Rowling said, calling a trans person a man, deliberately knowing that that person is a woman, and I am a woman, regardless of what J.K. Rowling Sorry. says. I've been through everything that's required of me. My birth certificate says female, my passport, all of my documents. I am legally recognized as a woman. And for J.K. Rowling to deliberately, and that is the key word, misgender me, knowing who I am, is grossly offensive. It is a hate crime, and it should be treated just as somebody calling a black person the N-word, or an Asian per person uh, the P-word. Or a Unfortunately for India, the police know better than to try Rowling and her team of very well-paid lawyers, who would undoubtedly use the chance to further enshrine gender-critical beliefs as protected by law. North Cumbria Belief has stated that India Willoughby's ac accusation that author J.K. Rowling misgendered her online did not meet the criminal threshold. It is ironic that Maya Forstater's case, which brought JKR into public crosshairs, eventually led to the law which now protects Rowling's tweets from being considered a criminal offense. The circle of protection illustrates the importance of women supporting women and shows just how impactful the role of female class consciousness plays in the war against idiots. Sorry, I meant misogynists. Um, I, sorry, I meant fetishists. <laughs> Oops, what I really meant was gender ideologists. This, dear viewers, is where we part. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm thinking about starting a new, a new little thing where I do best of and worst of comments once a month or so. I just think it'd be fun for some of you to see some of the completely 
idiotic takes that I read in the comment section every day, as well as to offer the chance to highlight some very intelligent or impactful statements that you all send in. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.